for the problem of you know having a single function for the tree uh, how we did that was we created one variable and that variable is a dictionary and for that dic- dictionary we had like a map of you know for each map we have a we have different parameters such as background text color the soundtrack uh, file the sprite the running gifs and the jumping gifs because we had four or five gifs to just have one single animation over there so we made a dictionary and we made it all uh, access it from the dictionary instead of have it in separate functions where each of them do a single things we use a, a module called play sound to play the background music of a screen and the problem was when you use a single thread what happens is that when you, you when you call the play music function then that stops the rest of the code from executing because it's it's it keeps waiting on that line of code to finish so it keeps waiting for the whole soundtrack to, of the game to complete before going on to the next the rest of the code what we did to solve that problem was we used the uh, multi threading which is uh, basically running two processes in parallel so the main go the main game code runs in the main thread which is the main execution of the program and the code for the soundtrack the playing the soundtrack that runs in a different thread so it's running parallelly to the program so it wouldn't stop the main thread from execute uh, from you know executing so they both could uh, exist independently so that's all dash did it being in the f- format of a competition uh, affect you? how how did that affect your learning so basically sir uh, before coming to uh, this python learning i never had an idea of like basically going into python i just wanted to settle with my vba ideas with the syntax i already knew when i got into the competition it just bought it just like made me uh, like learn faster i want to elaborate my knowledge on it i want to make a better game i want to do something great uh, like so that i can show to the jury and i just want to do the best so this uh, like this intention of mine just made me learn more and more and like elaborate my knowledge on python i've started many programming projects but the problem is i keep getting you know inspired by something else in the middle and go on to start that and never actually end up finishing anything but this this competition it inspired me to keep going on and create something big if you were to optimize this data and you think of in what way would you optimize this definition this whole notion of dynamically generating the board is a very interesting option and a little bit challenging because the snake is actually a spline right you'll have to generate a snake right so and and you'll have to think about uh, a way to do that which is pretty interesting you won't have to change your code too much it's just that the code to generate the the uh, board might be a bit more interesting the rest of it could be uh, straightforward what happens is as, as engineers you know we feel that wherever we put our most effort that's the best thing and that people will like it yeah, sometimes yeah. what happens where you put very little effort people seem to like that more and and if you go out into the world you'll find that something that you spend one hour doing will make you much yeah, more money popular. than something that you spend one month doing right so where should you be spending your time <laughs> you want something new every time you want it uh, people to come back to it and still keep people's interest uh, for many days right so that they keep playing it yes sir uh you should take a look at wordle uh and then there might be good lessons for you because it's very simple game but the whole world has gone crazy and let me tell you something that you that will keep your interest going the guy who made the game he earned seven figure dollar value for making the game and selling it to me of course often what happens is that we have our idea of of our understanding of the problem which might be distinct from how other people see it you say that this is very good but other people might not think it's good and not want to play it have you thought of doing a kind of survey or letting people play the game and uh, letting them tell you what they like or don't like what is the role of yantra and i feel the role of yantra is to fill in the gaps right we have our established education systems which 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 have their good points and the limitations but there are lots of issues with it and the way e yantra can work is by filling in the cracks you know the interstices between the various things making things multidisciplinary showing that the existing education system could just be the resource from which we could start tinkering using technology and by using these kind of skills that the the kids have developed